so today I'm going to be talking about the extreme male brain theory of autism. So autism, which is now commonly referred to as ASD, Autistic Spectrum Disorder, is a neurodevelopmental disorder characterised by a triad of impairments. So we have an impairment in social development, communication and thought and behaviour rigidity. There's also a lot more emphasis now on sensory differences and differences in imagination within this group. So the consensus theory at the moment is primarily genetic. So theorists, the consensus theory is that um, the genetics of people with this disorder is influenced epigenetically in utero or from uh, inheriting what's called an autosomal recessive gene, which is genes that are expressed when we inherit them from both parents because they are... Um, so what exactly are the traits that we inherit? Basically, the male brain is more likely, has a better ability to systemize, and the female brain has a greater ability to empathize. So there's lots of research to, um, to back this up. For example, uh, girls are more likely to develop empathy at a younger age than boys, and people with autism are, more, are very good at um, detecting patterns and laws and predicting outputs from inputs. Um, so consequently, Baron Cohen has likened individuals with autism as having an extreme male brain. So some researchers have pointed out that the um, gene which is inherited may be X-linked on the X chromosome, which means that it's more likely to ex be expressed in males. And also the prevalence of ASD is way, way higher in males. However, genetically, we still don't know exactly what genes are involved in this disorder so it's difficult to kind of prove or disprove. Also in Baron Cohen's research he typically uses very high functioning individuals with ASD which isn't really representative of the whole population. Also all the research kind of backing up his theory is kind of done by himself and his own researchers. Additionally it could just be that ASD is just way more challenging to detect in girls uh, for example, there was a study done approximately five or six years ago um, by Hiller et al, where 70 girls and 70 boys were interviewed who were all diagnosed with ASD. Interestingly, all the, um, all the participants had very similar uh, criteria met by the DSM for the diagnosis, but girls presented with less externalising behaviours and were more likely to initiate friendships, which suggests that ASD is just very difficult to detect within girls. Also, there is a significantly longer delay between the first consultation with a, a clinician and a diagnosis, and this controls for the number of clinicians as well. So it takes girls significantly longer to get the ASD diagnosis than males, which suggests that perhaps we're using male-centric um, tools for the diagnosis. So in summary, Baron Cohen's theory is very a very interesting conceptualization of ASD, but we really need to recognize whether ASD is being presented differently phenotypically in girls and to question the, the tools that we're using and whether they're sensitive enough to pick it up.